So in general, once I made the move back towards Southwest Kansas, the big need for power generation out here would be like feedlots and dairies. You can't have dairy cows just waiting around without power for 10 hours because you lose production, you lose livestock, things like that in this kind of area are, are big and critical and big money makers. What's up, Fred? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> That's right, Scott. Racing season is officially here. Even though I've been to a couple of events, but this has been a pretty good event, man. I, I'm enjoying my time. Some great races. Good car count. You know, there was 30 small tires. You know. Right now, we are about to... They're going to be starting the second chance small tire in a few they were calling them so i came up here i went and make sure my wife was good i ate a couple pieces of pizza i went to use the bathroom and as soon as i came back they said you know second chance to the staging lanes and they were waiting on billy so should be starting there in, in a few for sure Ugh. I do appreciate you guys joining in the live feed. I know there's a bunch of races tonight. You know, you got the one over at where the small tire gangsters. So, oops. it's been a good, it's been a good. Good event, man. I had fun. First time at this event, so. I just, maybe I jumped the gun and got a little, a little too quick there. the wind died down that's for sure what is going on everybody why, why are we not talking that's how you do it Danielle right there I hear cars <laughs> He'll be coming soon. Billy's in the second chance. Man, the bugs are starting to get bad over here. Where's the wind at now? Oh, that was real? That was no curl? Holy cow. Hey, 
That's your son? Which car? Now, yeah, this is second chance. I believe this is second round of second chance, so. Hi, uh, you're welcome, Dave. These buttons alone, that'd be great. Right lane? Oh. Yeah, it was windy, it's crazy. Now it's like gone. Yeah, Tommy's still in. Oh, with the mullet. <laughs> already today. Trans break ain't holding. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, racing's going great. Upsets. Oh, uh, Billy lost in the first round. All right, now it's the second chance, and here's Billy now. Uh, CJ Buckner lost in the first round. Overall, great day of racing. We haven't had one of those side-by-sides at the finish line where it's hard to tell. But overall, some great racing. Beautiful weather. The wind has died down a little bit. You get a gust there and there, and that's about it. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Just so you know, man, my weekends are packed, so the rest of this month and all next month, man, I got to race every weekend, so you don't have shit to do on a Saturday. Join. Let's talk crap. Watch some racing. Have a great time. What's going on, Matt? How you doing, buddy?
Right now we're on our um, second chance, second round of second chance. Um, the main event small tires are in fourth round. I think semifinals, quite honestly. That's what I'm talking about. Ninja strippers and blue waffles, all in one. Mm. Y'all trying to get me in trouble with my wife. just kept on going. Something must have happened with the other car there. Heck of a way to celebrate your birthday over at War in the Woods. Uh, yeah, Street Class already ran. Um, I had to shut it down and, and uh, um, use the bathroom and give my wife a break. So I wasn't able to live feed that. All right, we got CJ. I got to swallow one with bugs. I don't know who won in the in the street class. Unfortunately. Some let's wait. Let's take a look. Kiss Cam, baby. Boy, that, he's deep into that. That's what midget porn does to you, right there. And like, look at this, man. Man, that is crazy. You know my wife's right with me. Can't look at that. Man, it's midget porn, dude. What the hell you mean, sissy? Look it, look it. Check that out. Look at the size of those. Oh. Maybe if I was a midget. Mwah. Mwah. Woo wee. You know they're telling some stories right there. Is he looking right at us? Bald head with a gray beard.
That's probably true, Robert. My feet are hurting so bad I can't even run. I would have to take that ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> That's his sister. They be doing that here on out, out in Ohio like that. Let's see what else we got going on over here. I told you that joint was huge. Twist it and smoke it. <laughs> it's like they knew. They look over here like they knew. Boy, he is into that phone. What? What? Who said that? Motherfucker. I got... I got to get this new level here on this game I got. What the hell is everybody looking at over there? timers right there. One old timer. Uh, I'm here at National Trail in Ohio. Trying to relive the 80s, man. Yeah, I know who Larry Morgan was. Or is. Is a helmet? What helmet? I don't need no stinking helmet. He's like, I don't drive a Mustang. Tony McKinney's son, Josh, he's still in it. <laughs> no, I don't think that was no Jays. It could. <laughs> Yellow Valley. Excuse me. And there was somebody else that won. I can't remember. I think. Um, this is just grudge right now. We should be in the fourth round in small tire when they come up. That's good to know, man. Thanks, Biohazard. Well, he got up. Oh, by there. Oh, there you go. Just those four left. Thank you, Jonathan. Much love, dude. Appreciate you. Appreciate the help today. I do 
have to give a shout out to uh, Josh Robinson. Um, he wasn't really planning to, to come here. And then he decided to, but he let me use his uh, merch tent and table so I didn't have to pack all that in my vehicle. So shout out to Josh Robinson. Nothing but love for the man. I appreciate what he did. Uh, next weekend, Jamestown, Kentucky. The Gig Gap event. No, the old man did not do it. Uh, second chance, I already went. Billy won, if you're gonna ask that. He moves on to the next round in second chance. Richard. I wish I had more control of the notification, but they don't give us control of that, so that, that stinks, man. You should be able to get notifications, you know? I got a way to do it, but I need a little bit of more money before I can do it that way. The notifications will go to your email. The next round of small tires should be awesome. Tommy and Logan, that's a good pick. I ain't mad at you. Look, these are just the types. sucks man and Facebook is even worse with the notifications so seems like once I do five people don't get notified <laughs> what's up Chris hey you like that that intro music man it's a little catchy ain't it Cut the dump in half? Yeah, baby. <laughs> At least he watched it from the beginning. There was more, too. I had a couple of them, but I decided to take it off. I have a feeling, man, people will probably try to climb through the screen and beat me up. <laughs> What's up, Terry, from North Carolina? No, Tommy has not run. It's it's fourth round. I believe it's uh, semi-finals. Yeah, Tommy's still in. I believe there's only four left. I think. Sounds about right. Uh, yes, uh, the Canadian won. For sure. He's one of the final four.
Uh, yes, I will, Eddie. I will be there. you come say hi I'll be there matter of fact I gotta get out get my uh, hotel room that wasn't a song about brown in the hot tub that was jizz you gotta go back and listen to it again. I would drop Facebook, but I tell you what, all last year on YouTube, I was getting hit with uh, copyrights left and right, left and right. On YouTube, on, on Facebook, I did not at all. When I did, what was it, War in the Woods? Yeah, War in the Woods, man. I had 18 copyright infractions. Let's just say I didn't get no money, man. <laughs> I agree with that statement, Fat Daddy's Models. <laughs> and you guys come up with a better name. I don't want to say all that. Model Shop, there we go. You ain't lying, man. A lot of people looking for attention on, on Facebook. I try to make it interesting, and so I make like one post a day, maybe. No, Bob, I will not be at no no prep kings. <clears throat> Every time they have uh, no prep kings, there's an event that I'm covering. Uh, next week they're in Pennsylvania. I'm going to be in Kentucky. This is a jeep. Facebook jail all the time. I was pretty close to the death sentence. I said one more thing because I, I shared a picture that I got off on Facebook. I said one more time, man, that I was banned. Um, the weather wasn't too bad today. Um, it was a little chillier earlier, but um, but it was a lot of wind in here, and uh, the wind has died down a lot. Um, it still blows once in a great blue moon, but not as bad. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start when I get home. Um, I'm gonna look that up there, Rob, for sure, of hotel rooms. Jeepish. Yeah, so I know I got 
start booking some rooms. I was really hoping that the price of hotels go down, man, but it's really not. I miss the days where you get three days for about 80 bucks. Now it's about $110 a night. Uh, yes, Tammy, I sure will be at War in the Woods. I'll be at both War in the Woods, quite honestly. I'll be the one in June and, was it September, I think? Got Jeff Thomas in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit. You go listen to some of these conversations up in the stands. I do want to try out some other kind of, you know, racing, not just strictly no prep, you know. Um, and I got a few weekends open, like in July. I think I got one in August also. I, I, I want to try something different. Maybe, you know, something like maybe boats, drag boats, you know, um, or, you know, some, uh, some of that, that drag racing, mud racing, when they're in the mud. Just something different, you know? Something that I'm looking into. Some of you guys might like it. A lot of you guys probably not. But it's something different, for sure. Uh, yeah, next week, Jamie. Next week, they're having an event. Uh, should be semifinals. It should be. I think we're only down to four. But that's that's what I'm looking into. Just something something different, you know. I would love to do like a pro mod race, you know. That'd be cool, you know. Some other type of racing. Uh yes, Fat Daddy. I man, I've been there a lot, man. Great owners, Amy and uh, Stephen Barrow. Great people, man. They always take me out for, uh, oh, what was the name? Clunkers? Clucks? Clucks? That chicken place that's right by there. <clears throat> Sprint car race? Pretty soon y'all gonna ask me to do NASCAR. <laughs> Long, long enough it ain't a dirt. I mean, the the mud drag racing would be dirt, of course, but I don't know how I'd do that with these cameras. Well, hey, I mean, if that's what you want from the beginning, <laughs> dude, I can have that. I could have four different cameras going all at the same time. Hell, actually, I could go four, five, six. Six cameras, dude. We could have one on top, one on each side, one in front. We could put a camera on her face expression, your face expression, whatever how you want it, man. Just pay me the money. I have not. The only thing I've really covered is just drag racing. I would go some, you know, but I'm not bringing my equipment. I did a uh, street race once. Um, it was a couple years back out in Kentucky. That was cool. It was a legal street race. So I had my equipment. Yeah, Tommy is still in. They haven't ran semifinals yet.
What's up, Josh? Why are you not here, dude? You working again? Oh, here we go, guys. Semifinals. I see Logan. Logan Duvall. Let's see who he's racing. Let's see. Who's going to be pulling up on the side of him? Oh, there's Tommy. I didn't even see him pull up. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, it ain't no problem with dirt track. I don't know like what my candle or my cameras can handle it. I've been to a couple of them. I know I come back dirty as hell. All right, here we go. We got Tommy. Logan Duvall. I believe the winner goes to the final. This is the finals? Ah, oh, there should be two more. Tommy versus Logan. Who you guys got? I tell you what, Logan, man, he's got a spaceship. I think he's got Dr. Spock in the inside of that engine compartment. I got you, pure custom. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Free stage. job saving the car. I do not have a replay on it, unfortunately. Wow. I do not have the replay on it. Got him on that. I do not have a replay because I stayed on with the with Logan. I only have a certain amount of time for me to, to get the replay in, unfortunately. Yeah. I really have no control. It's just when I do the replay, it's instant. Another good race.
whoever wins this face Tommy in the finals, man, it's gonna be one hell of a hell of a final. That's for sure, man. You're welcome, JC, man. Appreciate that. Tommy took out, I don't have a replay on it. I do apologize, I put the camera back on because Logan saved the car, so. So Tommy won. That was a great round right there, guys. Great round. All right, right now we're going to Chew Street, right now. Yeah, the finals should be awesome. Right? I met this dude today at the gas station. He drives this car. He was like, man, you you guys really no pump felons? Yes, sir. buddy Tommy versus uh, the Green Mustang from Canada. Looks like 
like this is going to be the last one here, huh? Start going to the finals after this. Damn, it might still be daylight when this gets over with. Who would have thought? We should be in the finals now, Lawrence. Second chance to the lanes already. Wow, what a heck of a run. Both classes, guys. Both classes. True Street, great pass. Great race over that one. Small tire. We saw Logan DeVall, man. He got a little close to the wall. He hit that scramble. He got real loose. Was able to save the car. Thank goodness. Tommy takes the win, though. Great job. Great man. Everything. All right. I, I got to pay some bills, y'all. So let me let me let me go pay some bills. Oh, so. I made the transition from working on Fords and just diesel in general once I made the move back towards Southwest Kansas. The big need for power generation out here would be like feedlots and dairies. You can't have dairy cows just waiting around without power for 10 hours because you lose production, you lose livestock. Things like that in this kind of area are big and critical and big money makers. I guess I'll just stay on. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, they did call second chance small tire up, so we'll just wait for that. I ain't gonna jump off. Uh, yes, Timothy, Billy is still in the second chance. I think there's four cars left, maybe. I think it was eight. Wasn't it eight? Uh, we're in the finals now in the regular, the main event. We're in the finals in True Street. And I believe there's maybe two more rounds or so for a uh, second chance. This has been a great event, man. I'm very happy that I was, you know, I was invited to come out here and 
I'm glad that I got invited and, and watched this race. This, this was a great event. Everybody that's involved with this event, man, great job. My hat's, tip my hat to you guys. Good car count, we had 30 small tires. We had 21 true street. Not sure how many of hard tire and, and uh, stick shift we had, but man, overall, this has been a great event. I had fun. I had fun with you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys making me laugh with your comments. But now, racing is officially started. So every weekend, guys, I'm going to be at some kind of track. Thank you, Jeff. Shit, I made it to the finals at this track in uh, Daily Driver for no prep team. Bill Lutz let me use his uh, electric car. I got taken out by a, a track hawk, but still had fun. Ah, oh, thank you for real. Oh, much love to you, Bubba. I always want to say it that way, Bubba. Welcome, Andrew, man. Thank you for guys uh, tuning in. I like Steel Alabama. I just don't like the one way in, one way out crap. <laughs> it took, what, two and a half hours just to get out of there. Last time I've been there. Just the one. This one I'm gonna follow. It's a pretty car. old in the early 90s making me feel old <laughs> which wish I was only three or four years old in the 90s uh yeah Tommy's in the final no Billy's got the S10. We're not even racing. 
Thanks. Right now they're just doing uh like test hits grudge. Well that wasn't a grudge race, but that was obviously a test run. That's what they're doing now. I believe we're waiting on um on a second chance small tire. I have to say the B36 again. What's up, Chase? How you doing, buddy? How's your Saturday going? That's what I'm talking about, John. Still street race at 58 years old. 58 years young, I should say, right? No, that wasn't Billy. Oh, man. Imagine being 89 years old and buying a motorcycle. That's what I'm talking about. I hope I can still be able to do that. At this rate, I don't know though. It's a chore just to get up out of the bed now. Uh, I guess he's doing good. Don don't really talk to me anymore. We used to talk all the time, but not as much anymore. I think because, you know, my main focus is these smaller events, small tire, and he still does no prep kings. And I guess I'm just not cool enough to, to hang out with the, the big guys, I guess you could say. I had a lot of friends, and, but as soon as I turned over to this kind of racing, then... Uh, they don't want to be my friends no more. Was he on earlier? I didn't see him on there. Don said, fuck you, Bob. Excuse me, my friend. Yeah, I, I like all drag racing. I don't care what it is, you know. It could be, you know, scooter race. I like all forms. You know, I grew up with the NHRA. 
I really dig in these smaller, you know, the small tire events. It's been a blast, quite honestly. Oh, <laughs> if that's the case, don't come this way. <laughs> I ain't trying to talk bad to him, so don't don't message Don and say, man, Bob saying this. I got nothing but love for Don. It's just that we don't speak a lot, that's all. What's up, Zach? How you doing, buddy? I liked NHRA when I was a kid. Um, when the funny cars actually kind of look like cars, not like what they do now. Um, speed is awesome, though. Don't get me wrong, man. I, you know, like the 80s, you know, funny cars, you know, they're not going, you know, 350 miles per hour. That was cool. Appreciate that, Don. David? I said Don. God. I apologize. Send that flyer, Zachary. Let me see uh, if I have a weekend open. Hopefully he's on the same same weekend. I know I do have like a weekend open in September. Yep, man, I remember Jungle Gym when I was a kid with Jungle Gym on um, Pam. Um, I used to go to a track, some of you guys might know it, but Union Grove. You know, Great Lakes Dragway when I was a kid. And during Memorial Day, they have, like, you know, the Olympics of drag racing, you know. So they had, like, Don Garland, Shirley Madowney, uh, Frank Hawley, Don Perdome, Tom McEwen, you know, a bunch of people. We used to go to the U.S. Nationals up in Indianapolis. I believe. Oh yes, Warren Johnson. That's one of my favorite classes. You know, back then was the pro stop. Yep, Tom McEwen. When he had that 57 Chevy funny car. Even the Corvette. Don Perdome in the Pepsi Challenge. Challenger, I think it was, or Pepsi Challenge.
Yes, I have. Uh, my dad was a big fan of uh, Sox and Martin. Right Lane won that race. Woo -wee. Man, that was a race right there. Let's see if I got it so I can watch it. I'm going to do the replay on that last race. Oh, I did get it. Man, look at him. Oh, what a race. That was awesome. Woo wee. That was the coolest race right there. Going. Uh oh. I only got one camera view. What the heck? Oh, what the heck? For some reason, I'm losing. I lost my. There we go. I don't know what that race was. I thought it was known because Billy would have been racing. I guess that was just a grudge, I guess. Supposed to race CJ. Was he broke? Oh, Bob Lynn. Uh, we're in, the, I believe we're in all finals now. I believe. I think all classes are finals. Sandals. <laughs> Knee high socks with sandals. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what happened. Wish I had an answer. Probably could find out on, you know, somewhere on on Facebook or or something. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to check the gas in my generator, make sure we're good to go. I would hate to, these things just bloop. 
Um, I believe these are just test passes here. I don't have another spot. I put a splash up in there. I think that should be good. We should be all in the finals once they come back. Hopefully soon. <clears throat> what time is it? 8.31. Now is that Camaro and CJ in the second chance finals? CJ had to buy, or CJ had to buy in. Competition buy. <clears throat> uh, who's in the finals? Uh, I imagine somebody could comment. Tommy and... Uh, the green car from uh, Canada, the Grinch, is in the finals of the main race. Second chance, I believe it's CJ and somebody else in a Camaro. And I'm not sure who are the two finals for the True Street. <clears throat> yeah, Billy is out. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Rusty, for there. There you go. It hasn't been really a lot of downtime, quite honestly. Um, right now, we're just between rounds. But it's been moving pretty decent here, so. Right now, we're all in finals, and they just ran them all, so. Um, there's going to be a little bit of downtime, unfortunately, but. How you pronounce that? Waji? Is it Waji? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I know somebody said it, I just can't remember it. Tabor, there you go. Thank you, David. Appreciate you guys' help, man. Listen, man, if we all just work together, we could have one cool live feed, you know? Um, if I happen to post the, you know, the pairs on my page and you want to just comment? I can put the pair, you know, who's racing right on the screen. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I don't know the, the two people in it. But I do like working together, though. You guys are you guys are awesome. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to Paris in time, except for first round. So, what we gotta do is work together a little bit, you know. This has been a really good live feed. There was only a few people being, you know, an ass, but. I really don't understand why people come on here and ask, is there any other live feeds at this event? <laughs> like, really? I'm the only one with a, with a camera at the finish line. Why would you want to see anything else? That was like a smack in the face. Bam! And somebody said, I need to zoom in, or which I do. But other than that, man, you guys have been awesome, so... It feels good to be back at be back at the track with with you guys all just chilling with me. So makes it easier. That's all. When you guys comment, I feed off of you guys, and we have a good time until I do the kiss cam. Thank you, Diane. Thanks, Model Shop. I'm not saying fat daddies do. <laughs> Can't make me say that, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what it what is the payout, quite honestly. <clears throat> I wish I could get a model. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, thanks, John. Appreciate you. Phoenix, Arizona, man. How hot is it out there right now? Ah, uh, thanks, Harry. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that. Thanks, Riggy. Reggie, Riggy. I think. Uh, next week's going. I'm going to be at uh, Jamestown, Kentucky, Lake Cumberland. Get got. We'll be on the road every weekend from now on until probably the end of the summer. Uh, he was. Actually, I um, he was there earlier. Um, Josh actually let me use his tent. He didn't bring no merch or anything today. So, uh, he let me, he was like, man, I'll bring my stuff because he doesn't live far away from this track. He's. I'll bring the tables, chairs, everything. So I didn't have to pack so much. I still had to pack a lot, but not as much, you know. So uh, nothing but love for Josh. I'm gonna step on his bad foot, though. <laughs> That's what homies do right there, man. That's why you see the OGR logo on the screen there. What's up, Brad? How you doing, buddy? Uh, Travis, uh, we're going to be, right now we're just grudging, but uh, we're going to be all finals. Uh, no, I think he broke. He was supposed to race against CJ, I believe. Uh, 
Oh, thank you for real. By the way, my name is Bob. <laughs> Not cameraman. What's going on, hot clips? What's up, Zachary? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Hi, Lori. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate that, man. How's the house? I don't know. I got my wife here. I don't feel like fucking getting jacked up while I'm driving home with her saying, what did you say on that line, Pete? Bam, bam. How embarrassing would it be when I go on my next life feed and I got a black eye, bust a lip, ear hanging off by thinnest skin. I sound like Bill Murray. Hey, I'm from the same area, Chicago. Ugh. I hear a blower car. I know Tim Brown is here, but I haven't seen him make a hit. Yeah, I know, man. That's one heck of an event they're having now over at the gut. <laughs> you, you ain't lying, Bart. We'll just let him have it. You know, sometimes, man, you might have an imaginary friend, you know, and he's got an imaginary opponent. Who knows? No, I will not get a fucking pink hat, trust me. I do wear, I got a pink hoodie, but I ain't wearing a pink hat. Well, thank you, Tyler, man. I love that, man. I'm glad that you enjoy the, the show. Everybody has their own style of life, feed, man. Some people like mine, some people hate me. Can't be mad, you know what I'm saying? You wanna watch somebody else? Go ahead, I ain't mad at you. Some people like my views, some people don't like the, the views that I have, so. Typically I have three cameras, not two, but it was really windy, so. I didn't wanna put up my, my 16 foot tripod in the wind. Well, thank you Model Shop for the sub, man. Much love, dude. Now, how can they hate me? Oh, man. I got, I got a lot of people that hate me. This is the way I talk. You know, I'm just a Generation X, man. I'm going to say how I feel. Uh, no price. Thank you, David. Oh, man, he said Rob Bice. Come on, David. <laughs> well, they just ran all the semifinals, so you got to get those cars cooled down, you know. Can't just run them back to back.
Thanks, James. Man, that's that's for real right there, our key. Gen X, man. <laughs> uncle Bob. Yeah, I'm that fucked up uncle. <laughs> hey, I let him hate. I, I don't even care. I doesn't bother me. My skin is so thick, it ain't reaching. I promise you. <laughs> they ain't reaching, I promise you. It's hard to hurt my feelings. Because everything that what people say is just words. And words don't bother me. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Garden hoses to the front, baby. Uh, yes, Michael, I will be at War in the Woods. Both of them, matter of fact. But first, they're going to have the purge. So um, Jeff Thomas is throwing the purge, uh, I believe, what, April 26, 27, something like that. Uh-oh. Well, I got service there for it. Everything's still going, though. <laughs> For real, say he drank rainwater. Yeah, beat this. I used to eat yellow snow, but not the yellow snow you think. All right. Kiss cam time. If there's anybody left up in here. Let's see, what we got here? Oh shit, you win, Price. You drank Schlitz, dude. <laughs> you the man. You never get sick, do you? <laughs> Molten lava, nice. Hey buddy, you got eyes behind your back? Yeah, for real, man. I highly suggest coming to a War in the Woods event, man. Come out and hang out with me. We'll have a good time. Look, you're on TV. See it? Yeah, War in the Woods is a party, guys. It is. You you have to experience it once. Especially if you sit up on the the return road side and they're like right next to you when they come back, you know, and they get jacked up when, you know, people get all excited. smoking on? What are you smoking on? What the fast, motherfucker? Think they're cold? It's not even that bad. Look at Grandma. Grandma said these little whippersnappers are weak. She said she'll pull off her wig and kick your ass. <laughs> Yeah, the atmosphere is nuts, man. It was a it was a great time, man. 
my first one, my very first no prep or um, war in the woods, um, that race didn't get over until like six o'clock in the morning, man. Put all my stuff, but didn't leave the track until about seven. And Brown County is only about three hours away from me. And then I drove home. I don't remember none of the drive. I think I slept more driving than I was awake, quite honestly. Smoking and choking. Choking and smoking. And ever since I've been to that one war in the woods, I have not missed one since. So. Jeff Thomas throws one heck of a bet for sure. Now ah, you're welcome, Mustang GT. <coughs> New York is the week before Woods. Oh, hey Zach, I I have a weekend open. Uh, because what? When is War in the Woods? May 31st and June 1st. Yeah. The 24th, 25th, I had an event, but it got canceled. So I actually had that weekend open. So who do I got to talk to, man? I actually have that weekend open. Hopefully I have service. <laughs> this is my worst of drinking warm cow milk. Seven and eight. Oh, it's the week after. I thought you said week before. I'm like, shit, I'm going on it. Yeah, do that, Zach. If I don't see it right away, like, you know, don't don't trip. Because I don't get notifications when I get a message. So. Facebook is goofy. Respect to all the females at this event. I wish I was a poet. And some of the best races that I've been to has been in the Midwest for no prep. Um, your Kentucky, uh, Ohio, Indiana, you know, not too much in Illinois, but um, they, they be throwing down Tennessee, you know, be throwing down on some badass events for sure. So Midwest, man. I know East Coast does it good too. Um, I had a blast at Digger Die. That was my first Digger Die. That'd be my number two choice, for sure. <laughs> He's trying to get his money's worth, man. Yep. I'll be back here August 3rd for Josh Robinson's uh, Uncaged. Which should be at the, the race on the big end there. I think I'm gonna be, you know, some some awesome events this year, man. I'm I'm a little excited. Um, yeah, I was there. <laughs> I was there. What was it, a couple weeks ago? Um, Friday was lit. Saturday it was only five small tires. I think the rain probably scared them, but it didn't rain. I was like, oh, man, I wish I could have made it Friday, but I couldn't. I had stuff to do, but um, those races, man, always always a good time out there. Yeah, Tennessee, you know, Crossville, you got uh, Jackson, 
Um, I like Jackson, especially when they're racing on the big end because they got that big ass hill where I can put a camera on there. Um, Dyersburg, where I, I don't know if some of you guys knew or not, but I did a race last year where I was sitting on top of a, I was up on a, a forklift. I was up in the air. <laughs> uh, hopefully soon, Mark. Hopefully soon, the finals. Yeah, KD, you have to go to KD, man. That hill does no justice until you see it with your own eyes. What's up, Toby? Uh, yeah, Tommy's still in. Yeah, KD, man, that hill doesn't do no justice until you see it with your eyes. I could do it on the video, you know, you're like, wow, that's crazy. But you see it in your eyes, you'd be like, holy cow. <laughs> then my dumb ass walked up it twice. <laughs> man, I was dying. I'm like, why did I do this, man? You're literally like, you're skiing, you know, like you're leaning so forward. And then when you walk down, you could, you know, you could, what's that, that uh, limbo stick? You, man, I'll fucking kill it. Put it on that hill. I almost wanted to put a camera on top of that hill there. I ain't gonna lie, but the distance is too far away. I hear cars. I don't know if this is the finals. I'm starting to see more people at the starting line. It is. It's a blast, man. Last year I was there, I was up on that dirt hill. Had a camera up there, had a great view. Now that is one track is on my bucket list is Bristol of Thunder Valley. Yeah, twice. <laughs> Think I learned the first time? No, man. I got the five-year-old in me and I gotta do it again. Thank you, Wally. We're just waiting for the finals, guys, man. I appreciate you guys being patient. Long enough that we just keep going and time goes faster and we'll be here for the finals. Yeah, that's that's the cool part. And somebody told me that years ago, man, a top field dragster went up that motherfucker. Maybe it wasn't a top field, but maybe, maybe more of an alcohol dragster. I don't know how he can make that turn and then go down the hill. When I talked to Callie Nate, um, his first time there last year, I was like, man, did you go up the hill? And he was like, man. He said that going up the hill isn't, is not that bad. It's going down the hill is, is scary. He's like, I'm going to have no brakes left. Yeah, Lippy was like, man, you want to ride up on the hill, man? You can use my golf cart. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. He goes, just to let you know there's no brakes. Oh, I'm good, dude. <laughs> yeah, somebody told me, man. I think it was somebody that was at the track, man, said that a dragster went up there. And I'm like, man, how? You know, you're scraping. Uh, thank you, Charles. Appreciate that. So, some of the stuff out here, man, I would, I would pay a bunch of money just to see a dragster go up that KD hill, man. How do they make that turn once they get up there? I don't know. See? I I'm glad I ain't the only one. That's crazy. <laughs> Pretty soon we're gonna hear, you know, funny cars and shit. Be 
something going on with the track down there or something. Not sure. <clears throat> yeah, he was. No, he he wasn't in Pony when uh, the accident happened. He was in the Z unit. Yeah, I will have to check that out once I get home. For sure. I know they had like a special thing going on and, you know, it's just, damn, man, you know. I really got to know him probably just last year, you know. I went to a, no. Yeah, I went to a cookout when I first met Nate. And we played that card, what's that card game, man? They were, you have, oh man, what, card, cards of, shit, what was the name of it? Let me see if I can look. I was at a cookout. Oh man, what the heck, my phone is taking an update right now? Are you serious? Cards of, against humanity, yes. So, my first night, we were at this cookout, and uh, Callie Nate was there, and Larry Larson, and you know, it, it was cool. And uh, and we played that game, and he won. And I came in second, and I was like, after hearing, you know, someone, I was like, oh man, I like this dude. <laughs> this dude is crazy as fuck, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got to know Nate, not Callie. Callie Nate, to me, is the racer. Nate is the human being, and he was just awesome, you know? And then, you know, I've been to a lot of events last year where he was there, too, you know? So, and then uh, Thanksgiving, I spent Thanksgiving with, you know, with the same people. And uh, had a great time, you know, he's a big San Francisco 49er fan. And they played that night, you know. And the last time I talked to Nate was over in Alabama a couple weeks back. I'm just glad that I got to know him a little bit, you know. And, and the death, you know, hit, hit, hit me a little hard, you know. Like, you know. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I stayed away from social media. I didn't want to deal with it, quite honestly. Yeah, so... The one thing that you can always say is, oh man, he lived his life to the fullest, you know? Tractors out now? Hopefully soon, Mike. <laughs> Hopefully soon. No, none of the finals have run yet. Yeah, so. Man, I thought this was just going to be a few minutes. In the world, yeah, that 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 there when it was racing, that was Cali Nate. That wasn't Nate. Nate's laid back, you know, he doesn't drink or anything like that. He just likes having a good time, laugh, smile, crack jokes, and stuff, you know. Cali Nate, man, he's all serious. 
Yeah, where I'm standing at, um, it's pretty mushy. <laughs> it's pretty mushy right here. I'll tell you another person, man, he's fun to hang around with. A lot of people think I'm crazy, but it's uh, um, Larry Larson. That dude is fucking nuts, man. You don't, if you go to No Prep Kings, you just see Larry, he just, he's pretty, like, keeps to himself a little bit. But, man, you get that dude <laughs> away from the crowd, away from, you know, racing all period. Larry Larson is one cool dude, man. <laughs> that dude is nuts, man. The shit that, that comes out of his mouth is just like, dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Larry, Larry's such an awesome dude, man. He's a good dude. Oh, yeah, Disco Dean. Oh, yes. Um, B-Rad. B-Rad's a great dude. I never got to hang out with Disco Dean, you know, like, away from racing. But Larry Larson, man, that dude will have you in tears, man. You would never think that, you know, especially if you watch the show on TV and, you know, he just, yeah, we're just out there kicking our ass, you know. And, or you're at the track at a No Prep Kings. You know, he'll say his thank yous and move on, you know. <laughs> that dude, you, like I said, you get away from the people, you get away from racing, and, you know, have a cookout, man. He's that crazy uncle. What's up, Boston, man? How you feeling, dude? That's, uh... Um, you know, when I went to uh, Cincinnati, I talked to his son, um... They're hoping to the car be ready by, I think, what are they saying? Like, like May. I think they're going to probably miss like the first three or four races, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, a couple years back when I used to, you know, live stream the No Prep Kings, you know, and, and I'm trying to get, you know, over at Dean's, um, um, pit and he was like listen man you just walk underneath this caution get you something to eat something to drink you know and that's just how he was I'm like all right and one time I was just standing there talking to somebody he was like man I told you you don't have to stand behind here I'm like I'm talking to this guy Dean <laughs> Yeah, and I really got to know, to me, man, for No Prep Kings, there, there's two types of drivers. You got your A class and your B class. And the B class, man, they're down to earth, you know. And I understand the A class because I have to deal with a lot of the fans and sign about 15,000 autographs. And they just don't want to deal with it anymore. And they go and, you know, go inside their toter or their hotel room. The rest of them, man, the B class, man, they're just cool, party, and... You know, those are the type of people I like. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Todd. <laughs> he makes those, uh, what's those, margaritas? They're all, to me, man, the, the, the B class, man, they're, they're, they're awesome. They're fun to hang with, quite honestly. Brandon James, you know, I mean, that dude's cool as hell. Matter of fact, I have not met one that was, you know, an asshole. Even the A-Class, they're not an asshole. Like Kai Kelly and shit like that, you know. 
I'm not saying we're best friends, but you know, he says hi to me, so. <laughs> yeah, Bobby's cool. Those are the guys that are fun to, to hang out. And, you know, what you guys don't see at No Prep Kings if you ever went to one, like once the race is over with and everybody's leaving real quick, man, it's, it's a different atmosphere once everybody leaves. It's like everybody's like, oh, especially like Friday. Man, I hope not, Christian. I was really hoping this would get done, you know? I mean, 9-10. Um, I wouldn't say Chuck is an ass. Chuck, man, let me tell you, that dude likes to party. Chuck likes to party. I can tell you over at, I was at Outlaw Armageddon, and it was uh, 2020, and he just came back from the hospital because he had COVID, and uh, this motherfucker lights off two firework cakes on top of his golf cart driving around. And it's just hitting people's toters, and he's just cracking up. He was drinking moonshine, I believe it was. That shit was funny as hell, man. Then it was on fire, and then he just pisses on it. <laughs> I'm like, you sure you want to do that after drinking moonshine, dude? I'm going to keep that fire going. Yeah. Chuck is, Chuck, is, Chuck is nothing like what you see on TV, I promise you. <laughs> that dude is fucking crazy. When I went to the taping of the very first, um, the very first, uh, was it the Mega Cash Days? Yeah. Where we had JJ and Big Ch Chief there. Oh, my God. I was out there for two weeks until I had to go home because I got sick. Man, what a blast. I really got to know him. Even JJ, you know, once the camera's off, you know, JJ's cool as fuck. Yeah. I never met Barley. Yeah. They're, they're awesome, man. So when we went there, man, you know, that's when I got to really know, got to know, like, Robin Roberts, um, talked to Big Chief, um, Brody Melton, he was out there. I got to know him. Uh, Cody, Cody Baker, I got to know him a little bit, you know. That was cool. Matter of fact, that's when I really got to know, you know, um, B-Rad was out there. It was a heck of an experience to go to that Mega Cash Days, man. Out in, uh, it was in the Panhandles of Nebraska, in the desert. It'd be like 110 degrees during the day, which we're sleeping. And then it's like 40 degrees at night. Yeah, Murder Nova was cool, man. He took a picture with my son. Um, is it worth going? I, I would say this. If you've never been to, go to one. Um, there will. You guys think this is downtime? Wait until you go do a no-prep king race. That's downtime all the time. But if you've never been to one, it's cool. It is. It, I mean, if you want to go there, I would suggest going both days. And if you want autographs, get them on Friday. Because Friday, they're, they're more laid back. Saturday, they're more focused. You know, They'll sign, but they're just trying to hurry up and get done so they get on their car. Um, Friday, they're more relaxed a little bit. You know, So um, I, I would, if you've never been to one, go to one. It's, it's an experience. It's fun, you know. You get to, you know, see them. It is. <laughs> you ain't lying, Tim. It is a very long day. You'd be like, man. Now, when, when I first started live feeding, No Prep Kings was a little bit different. So they used to do first round on Friday, and then they finished it on Saturday, which wasn't bad because you were out of there by 8, 9 o'clock at night, you know. Now, you, man, 
The longest race I ever been at a no prep king race was that year I was in Houston and did not get over until 3.30 in the morning. I missed my flight home. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I tell you what, the best seats, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to lie to you because all the people that spend the big bucks on those fancy seats, they come out and hang out with us over at the General Mission. And General Mission's at the finish line. So you can really see how close the race is and stuff. So to me, I think the better seats is at the finish line instead of being up by the starting line. <laughs> Say, hold this beer. I do, Chase. Um, my niece was out there. She went this year. My niece, um, she went out there. And if you guys, my niece used to help me out. Now she works for uh, Paige Coughlin as their social media guy, person. Oh, Dominator, man, let me tell you, Dominator is cool. Um, actually, his wife is awesome. She is cool. I got to know her when we went down to Florida for a... Uh, Wayne, you know, Wendy and Wayne, the Tropical Thunder, when, and I went down for uh, Wayne's funeral and really got to know, you know, Dominator's wife and the kids. Uh, Dominator couldn't make it. He had to stay. Um, but I've eaten dinner with Dominator, man. He's just a laid-back, coolest dude you could ever think of. Really? Tommy may be out now, too? <laughs> you tell me I've been live this motherfucking long and they're not even gonna run it. Yeah, I'm hoping to go next year, quite honestly. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hopefully not, but it sounds that way. Well, thank you, Tammy. Appreciate your. Uh, investigation reporting <laughs> appreciate it um is monza cool um monza is same way um once people are gone he's cool um i really got to know his son brandon uh, young blood so for you know for what was it like two years i really got to know brandon brandon is a cool fucking kid I know people hate on him because of the show, but get to know him, man. That dude, he's awesome. I didn't even realize how much that we had in common when I first met. And the first time I met Brandon, mine's his son. I mean, we talked like four hours, man. Just bullshitting, man. Like, he was a cool kid. Uh, Monza, man, he's just, you know... What he looks like and what he does, you know. I've eaten dinner with Monza, you know. He's just laid back. He, he's not a very talkative person, but he will talk. Yeah, you know. But, man, his son, Brandon, I like him. He's awesome, man. He went go-kart racing. I know he's trying to build a small tire. He wants to jump in these little small events here in the Midwest, too, so. Yeah. You know, when, when I did, what was it, season two of No Prep Kings, um, it costed $20 on Friday, $25 on Saturday. Parking was, it depended on the track, but it was no more than $25, and that was the VIP shit. Now, Jesus Christ. They act like it's an NHRA event. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. No Pro Kings, I think it was better in 2018. Just the fact that they did the first round on Friday and then finished the rest on Saturday. And you were home a decent time, you know, or back to the hotel or whatever. Um, how can I... How can I like Kai after the Lizzie thing? Hey, that's that's on him, man. That's like, you know, somebody tell me how can you like him because he doesn't like fucking uh, having safety meetings. Hey, it's on him. That, that's not me, man. 
that that has nothing to do with me. I, I, I take it, you know, I'm an old school way. So if somebody's disrespectful to me, then I don't like that person. But if he hasn't been disrespectful towards me and what he did on that, that's, that's between him and that person, not me. <laughs> Ain't that something, Jessica? Like, they, they want nothing but drama. I hear cars. But they're still working on the track on the other end here. I didn't see it. I I don't know, Kristen. I'm I'm here. I'm hanging with you guys. I'm hoping. I I am gonna. The only problem is this year, um, the World Series of Pro Mods, man, was the same weekend as my anniversary. And my wife, she's not into race cars like I am. She'll come. She loves working on the merch booth. And the only time she'll really watch a race is if, if I'm racing it. I don't know about the future of No Prep Kings. Um, I don't think it's going to be on TV anymore. I promise you that. A lot more, there's a lot more racers are, you know... Are dropping out. You know, we just saw Chuck 55. He said he's taking a year off. You know, Mike Marillo, he's out. Well, of course, you know what his situation is. I hope he gets better real quick because Mike Marillo is a cool ass dude. Yeah, I, I've heard a lot of rumors about, you know, the future of No Prep Kings. I don't know if it's true or not, because every time I hear a rumor, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, and then it ends up not being true, so I hope not. Hopefully more people buy our merch. They're working down at the big end there. Yeah, see, Mike Bowman is out, you know, you're, you're starting to see more and more and more of them dropping out, you know? I know some of them are only going to be doing like a half a season. They're not even doing a whole season. So they're only going to do the first half or the second half. So... I think, I think, you know, the, the powers that be of No Prep Kings really kind of screwed them at putting that kind of a, you know, schedule together, you know. Like, God damn, you know, like, come on. These are humans. <coughs> it's a shame, quite honestly. Because I think without the TVs, man, it'd be a great event, and I think it'll last for a long time, but, I mean... When No Prep Kings first started, it was only nine episodes, you know, nine races. Now they're up to 15, 16, what was it, 15 plus two in Canada, so that's 17. That's, that's, that's nuts, man. Especially with, you know, with everything that's going on with the prices of everything and like, you know, everybody could get parts like that. For what? On hopes of trying to win 40 grand. <laughs> People that, you know, don't win the 40 grand, you know, like. God, man, that's a lot of money going down the drain. I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, man. I feel bad for them, you know. I tell sell them, I'm like, man, why don't you just do the smaller events, you know. You got a chance to make more money doing, you know, smaller events than the big ones.
Yeah. You know, you got you got to give the props, you know, for the people that's willing to do every single race, you know. The Ryan Martins, you know, Justin Swanstrom. You know, they got the backing, so not everybody does, though. Can't hate them for, it, for, for having the backing. Everybody could get it. No, we're still waiting. They're, they're working down way down the big end there. I think some water might have creeped up in the tracks because it looked like they're dropping some uh, rubber down. I don't know if Tommy broke. I've been live for two hours. I haven't moved. I need some of you guys. Uh... I do. I mean, I get asked all the time, man, you going to No Prep Kings? Man, I ain't going all over there to do a live feed when there's two other people doing it. Plus, I like doing with cameras, not with a phone. It's not fun doing live feeds with a phone. It's tough. Watching watching a race through a phone. Here I got big, you know, a little bit bigger screen. I can see the race a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I, I had a blast. That's how no prep felons got, you know, its start through no prep kings. But I decided to, you know, support these smaller ones. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of live feeds at these smaller events when I first started doing the smaller events. You know, maybe Limpy. You know, um, Tickle Fitz was just getting started. And that was really about it now. Now it, everybody's doing live feeds. Yeah. Oh, man, it's got to be way more than, yeah. I would say more than 100 grand, if not more than that. Unless somebody gave them a, a gas card for the year. Diesel ain't cheap. <laughs> I tell you what, you don't go off and don't say nothing. Don, <laughs> Don will just look on his phone. <laughs> he just watches his phone. Yeah. South Georgia events. Man, if I was going to South Georgia, <laughs> that place has no service out there. It'd be tough. I ain't gonna lie. Me too. The small events, man, I, I kick back and, you know, just have some fun out here. You know, people, you know, like, the promoters, man, they always take care of me, you know. I and mean, you gotta love that. Oh, I imagine model shop. Those those fuel prices, man, at four dollars a gallon for diesel. Woo. It is, man. I, I can't. I hope you know that our economy gets better. You know, in the near future, so it's not as expensive and people go back going to racing and traveling and all this. So, the only problem with you know, with these small tire events, man, is there's starting to be a lot of them. I mean, there's usually about four or five a weekend now, you know, if not more. You talk about all this, and this is just a.
I hear cars, William. finals now. Look at this stick ship right here. It should be right after that. We already had the hard tire stick shift. This is True Street. I imagine the next one should be the the second chance. Yeah, the second chance small tire, and then probably the main event. If it happens. versus New York.
Oh, Tommy is broke, huh? Thanks, Alex. chance right here. I believe it's CJ. It should be coming up, Marcus. Right now we're doing a second chance small tire. Whoever's driving that Camaro, man, had one heck of a race last round. Drove around them right at the end. Camaro, man, he deserves that win. Congratulations to him. He was moving right there. Wow. <laughs> nice race. I don't know who that was, man, but he's been going rounds and he just won the second chance. So congratulations to that dude. He, man, you ain't lying, Skyler. After I saw that last race and drove around right at the end.
Nobody out of the lane, unfortunately. That sucks for, for Tommy, because Tommy was moving today. Looks like Tommy is broke. Tommy was the other guy. You did, Tammy. You did. He's going to bring it. There it is. There it is. Congratulations to all the winners today. Guys, first off, man, I want to thank uh, Power Central. Race Master Live for their their sponsorship. Also, I want to thank you guys. All you guys that send stars, donations. Man, I got nothing but love for each and every one of you guys. Um, th thanks again for being awesome on the live feed. While we had this downtime, you guys didn't bitch. You just, just talk with me. So, man, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Next week, I will be in Kentucky. All right? Racing season starts, guys. So if you don't have nothing to do next Saturday, make sure you come check out our live feed. All right, guys. I am out. You guys have a great Sunday, and I'll see you guys next week. All right? Peace.